A mural honoring Talba County native Frederick Douglass was unveiled in Easton back in September of 2021. The piece by artist Michael Rosado tells the story of the abolitionist's life. The mural is a project of the Bailey Groce Family Foundation, which is one of two family-run Frederick Douglass organizations in the country and Operation Frederick Douglass on the Hill. Mr. Douglas was born 205 years ago this month. And there will be a celebration in Talbot County. Terrence Bailey Sr. is the president and founder of Operation Frederick Douglas on the Hill. He joins us along with Dondre Phoenix. He's a member of the Operation Frederick Douglas on the Hill board. Thank you both for being here this Good afternoon. Here. I'm going to start with you, Terrence. You have a, um, a strong connection to Frederick Douglas. Yes, I'm uh, five times great grandson of his older brother, Perry Bailey, uh, first born of uh, Harriet Bailey in Itokaho. Wow. So tell us about the Frederick, uh, the Operation Frederick Douglass on the Hill. That was initiated to um, actually bring the mural to fruition. We had been trying to get that mural up for a couple years. We just didn't have uh, the money. Right. A donor from Rochester, New York, stepped forward and she said, "Well, if you." could get that guy who did that Harriet Tubman uh, piece right? to mm -hmm. do this mural, I will give you the money. I went to uh, Annie Kruger, who owns Solid Tops, uh, there on um, Kemp Lane in, in Easton, yeah. and asked her, could we get an easement of, you know, a piece of her property, property to use along the rails of trails? And she said, I love the project. It, it, didn't, it didn't even take her 20 minutes really? to decide. And she gave us an easement. Uh, let us cut a big old hole in her fence. <laughs> oh my goodness! And put the mural up, and and uh, she helped with the cleanup. She's been, um, she's been, she's been great. She didn't have to do any of that stuff, and she's even allowed us to put up lights and tap into her light system. I mean, there's still good people out there. So I like yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. So tell me about the impact the mural has had on that community, the Hill community. Well, it it keeps that um, that section of the rails trails clean. Um, you know, there's no trash there. You know, the grass is kept clean. Uh, people, when they when they walk up and down the rails trail, they jog, bike ride. Kids take that that path on the way home from school and stuff like that. Um, it gives them uh, something good to look at. We uh, actually have benches and everything out there now. And uh, on the uh, 18th, there's the interpretive panels are going to be unveiled, yeah. and the uh, the donor panels are going to be installed are going to be actually unveiled. Right. And for the first time, the flag will be hoisted. Oh wow. Um, on the 18th of to celebrate Uncle Frederick's birthday. Okay, the 205th birthday celebration of Frederick Douglass, that's actually a fundraiser for the project. What, what we attend, what can we anticipate seeing? Phil Darius Wallace was playing Frederick Douglass, and then uh, we have Millicent Sparks playing uh, Harriet Tubman. I mean, she's so good. I mean, when she's done, you'll think she is Harriet. Harriet. Tubman. When she walks out the door, you'll want to go with her. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually a fundraiser for your next project. What is yes. that? Yes, um, and that, that's very important. Uh, Terrence and I both grew up on the hill, mm -hmm. um, and us growing up on the hill when we were younger, we didn't know and understand the history. Not until several years later, we found out that it was, in fact, the oldest uh, free African-American uh, neighborhood in the country. So with that being said, we wanted to uh, do something with us being from the hill to help preserve that. Right. Um, and to share that history, uh, not with just the shore, but the rest of the world. Right. So um, again, what better way to do it than, you know, erect a museum? I mean, that's what a museum is for, right? History. So, um, and we're working to do that um, and, and um, erect that his, uh, historical uh, edifice on the hill. As you see, I'm wearing a hilltop. Mm -hmm. right there, yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and you see the date on here, um, it was established 1788. So it was like a 12 block radius where African Americans, um, a small group and became larger um, group, became free uh, during the time of slavery, yeah. um, not just in Maryland, I mean, not just in Eastern Maryland and the, you know, of course, the, the South below the Mason Dixon. So that little small neighborhood, you had freed African Americans, you know, they had their own businesses. Um, their own homes, and they pass that down generation to generation. Huge strength. Yeah, and, and for us to be a part of that and, and to be able to um, carry on that legacy um, through our ancestors and yeah. through that um, historical uh, neighborhood has been uh, incredible. And then Terrence, you know, being the five-time great 
nephew he's, of he's got a little Freddie significance Douglas. to him right yeah exactly <laughs> so it, it just made all it just made sense for yeah, for, it yeah, for it to come together like all right, that so tell us the the event the details of the event the fundraiser where and when the um the uh interpretive panels and stuff like that will be unveiled at three o'clock on the rails and trails it's 505 south street east yeah. in maryland and that's going to be and that's at three on what, what day saturday on uh, saturday of uh, february 18th Lots of big mm -hmm. things coming to the Hill and East End. Thank yeah. you so much, Terrence yeah. and Dante, for coming Thank in you. and talking about this wonderful project. Great talking to you. Mm.